Okay, good afternoon everyone and welcome to the Citizens Theatre. I'm going to ask our director, Ellie Goodman, to come in and have a wee seat next to me because we're going to find out a little bit about the play that you're all going to be seeing within the next couple of weeks at your schools. Inside the theatre, we rehearse and make plays. A play is where we bring a story to life through actors. Don't Start Me is a story about a nine-year-old boy called Craig and Craig has an older cousin called Johnny and he gets involved in Johnny's gang kind of inadvertently, he kind of stumbles into this life for himself and before he knows it he gets into all sorts of trouble and gets up to no good. And so Don't Start Me revolves around his story. How about you take this nice fat red marker pen and go and write something on the bus shelter? What? Me? Aye, go and draw a wee cartoon of your teacher or write something about her. Get out of your system. But what if someone sees me? No one's going to see you. It's only me here. What? And Tyson. The play highlights why you know violence starts and it's it's also encouraging because the age of the children are they're sort of bef it's before the age that they might get to start getting involved in gangs um, so hopefully it'll give them an insight into making choices before you know it's too late because of their age the play went on a tour around all the primary schools so every primary school had their dedicated slot and the production company would turn up in their van and they would set it all up and then they would get their performance in their own school. We'd like you to meet Craig Johnson. That's me, Craig. But when I'm older, I'm going to change my name to Xavier. Shing! Shing! Craig or Xavier is nine years old. But I'll be ten soon. How old are you? Nine. I'm older than you. How old are you? Seven. I'm older than you too. <gasps> I'm not older than you, though. <laughs> we had a glow meet organised and pupils and their teachers could log in and join the glow meet. They got to meet the four actors and the director and that was broadcast from in the Citizens Theatre. The first one we had was when we were talking to the actors. Two people got to actually speak over the microphone and ask a question which we all thought was amazing. I asked. Uh, how do you act like a dog? We were talking about what kind of dog uh, we wanted Tyson to be, who's the dog in this story, Gwen, and um, we, we did we decide on a British, we were talking about British bulldogs. Oh, yeah. He's quite stocky, so when I was pretending to be him, I had to try and round my shoulders and make sure I was walking with a bit of a thud, because they're carrying quite a lot of weight. These guys. I think the police one was particularly interesting to them because they got to see the um, all this different equipment that's what stuck out to them I think. To keep us safe this is called body arm and it's supposed to stop knives and guns and things like that so if there's really really bad guys about it's supposed to help protect me while I'm trying to protect you. We're really excited about it really positive about it and um, they love the music in it and they love the the, the girl that played the dog, they thought that was really funny. There's Johnny, there's Craig, there's Sandra, there's Jamie Lee, there's his teacher in um, the gang. There's four actors and some of them play different roles. The main character was Craig and he was a good person but he had to make loads of decisions. He's, he's very good until, um, jo until Johnny comes. Johnny is um, a... Craig's cousin and he is not a very nice boy. He was telling him to like go and steal um, stuff for him to get, so he had to decide would I do that or not. That's uh, brilliant son, that's Miss Noble Toe. And here, there's a little reward, I'll let you take Tyson for a walk. Yes! Thanks John. No Thanks. problem in here. Get me a bottle of ginger from the shop while you're at it. I haven't got any money. So. What do you need money for? To buy the ginger. I've not been a very good teacher, have I, Craig? I've told you. I don't pay for anything. I get everything for free. But just get me the ginger, Craig. The drama workshop was really, really good, and I even took a lot of ideas from that to use. The man who ran it was really great with the children. It was really relevant to the play. 
um, very age appropriate. The games were really, really good. And the sort of other tasks that weren't necessarily drama tasks um, were really well suited to the children. I think it actually sort of teased out the meanings of the play a bit more for them and got them thinking a bit more. One of the activities we did is where we made a comic strip about Craig's journey to joining Johnny's gang. And here's a beautiful example by Lewis. Craig's in the first picture and then the third picture it's at night and Craig and Johnny are still there and then last one it's Johnny asking Craig to spray the school. Craig told us about the things. You well done, we saw videos didn't we? Shall we see if we can find one? Something that I don't even know what's going to happen yet. So it's going to be like we're all going to be sort of finding out about these characters and about situations together. A lot of teachers that you speak to go, I don't really understand what GLOW is. I don't know when I would have gone on GLOW, to be honest with you. And because now I've gone on GLOW and I've done it with this drama project, it's opened me up to so many things. Don't be afraid of it, because once you get the hang of it, it's really easy to use. Um, play about with it. Um, go and have a look for different groups. Don't just feel tied to the ones that you're that you're sort of given at the start, um, have a browse about. I've been hearing about GLOW for about three or four years, but I hadn't gone on to GLOW and, or seen anything about it, so this project's actually introduced GLOW a lot more to me. The whole TAG project, all the activities and things have been through GLOW, so I now know that it's an online resource that I can use. I really didn't get involved and was not looking forward to being involved in GLOW itself, but the project has changed that completely. I've uploaded photographs, I've uploaded videos, very, very comfortable with it. And certainly when we had the GLOW meet, which would have been quite stressful, 20 children, 30 children in a class, and it doesn't work. Actually, it worked every time. The lessons I think I've learned is when somebody tells you to do something bad, don't do it. It's not really nice to steal because the people that bought it have just bought that for nothing. There's, there's more bad gangs than good that the gangs would just end up using you just to get what they want. When we did the workshop um, after the drama, the children did two choices, show how Craig reacted, show then another choice he could have made. And practising these, make, making these choices are phenomenal. We did a consequence treat where if someone committed a crime, what would happen? If you argued with your sister, what could happen? And we looked about how we could resolve that. And we made a big tree with all the branches and the roots coming out of it. I know that my, my colleague did the writing with them and um, they wrote diary entries thinking about the characters' points of view. I think the main message was, if there's a problem, talk about it. You know, he talked to his mum, he talked to his sister and that resolved issues. Some of them really picked up on the message that he was having a really hard time at home and that is why they then made the choices. Um, and failing that, they all picked up on the fact that he, he was very, very sorry for what he did in the end and that it wasn't a good choice to make. So. Hopefully that will maybe make them think twice in the future. It's really opened our eyes to the opportunities and the different ways you could use GLOW to deliver a project. And I think it is something that we all think about whenever we're developing new projects now. I think um, things like this are just fantastic for children and I know with the cuts and everything it's things like this that will probably go and it's such a shame because the children love people coming in, they love doing drama workshops and it's great to see people who are actual professionals and to, for the children to actually see how drama is really done. The kids know a lot more about technology and so do I because this is my first year in teaching. So I feel it's a big advantage that I can actually use that technology now and the kids all know how to use it as well. I think I'll explore GLOW a bit further, start looking into different groups that might be relevant to what I'm doing with a class at any given time. Everybody from the Citizen Theatre, especially Angela, has just done so much for us. Well done! Good night and that's all we have time for.